From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. My name is Istithkar Abdel Karim. I live in Sebastia and I have two sons and two daughters. It's 6.30 in the morning and Isteth Kar has already done a couple of hours' work. She and other women like her are putting their cooking skills to vital use, affecting the lives of tens of thousands. Isteth Kar lives in the middle of the conflict-ravaged West Bank, part of the occupied Palestinian territory. A history of border blockades has left the economy crippled and food too expensive for most people. Women's contribution to the family income is vital, but tragically all too rare. It's really hard to bring home money on a daily basis when you don't have a fixed monthly salary. The number of Palestinian women fully employed is one of the lowest in the world. So in 2010, supported by the Palestinian Authority and UN Women with funding from the government of Norway, Isteth Kar and many other women like her turned themselves into entrepreneurs, becoming both bread winners and bread makers. First, it helped me psychologically, and then as well financially, since I never had my own income before, and we always depended on my husband's. School meals prepared by local women like Isteth Kar now feed a staggering almost 70,000 schoolchildren in the West Bank. But it's not just about numbers. In a region where access to food is limited, ensuring children eat nutritiously is crucial. Since the project started, the anemia rate, which handicaps children's learning ability, has plummeted from a quarter of all children to just a handful. We want to make sure that their general nutritional status is at such a level that we can ensure their academic achievement. Alia El Yasser is head of UN Women in the occupied Palestinian territory, which is supporting this project to employ rural women to run school canteens. You see the effect not just on individuals, you really see it on families and on communities. The number one priority that we're hearing from women and communities is that they need income. They need a source of income that is somehow they can depend on. It's a feeling shared by this group here at one of 17 UN women-supported Sabaya Women's Centres. Here they make daily meals for 1,500 students. With her earnings from the school canteen, Isteth Kar paid for the opening of this small shop, which her husband now runs. She's also able to support their children in college. I used to be shy dealing with people, but I got stronger and more self-confident. I'm hoping my work will continue and will just get better and better. And I'll carry on working all my life. For Isteth Kar and the 200 other Palestinian women like her, their new economic independence offers them and the thousands who depend on them a ray of hope for the future in this troubled land. This report was produced by Jill Fickling for the United Nations.